Well, with Sherwood Lobel, Joie de Vie, and Speedy Claude qualifying in the first elimination, here is the second, and it's the second half of the Daily Double. 1A Berkshire Buddy and 2B Christus Star have been scratched. 3C Killbuck Sir coupled with Sherwood Lobel, 12040 in the double. 4D Killbuck Count Jean Nordin driving, 20560. Incidentally, Killbuck Sir is Howard Beisinger in the bike. 5E Rickless with Bill Houghton will pay 1460. 6F Duenna Stanley Dancer, 3180. 7G Cape Canaveral Doug Ackerman driving, 42160. And 8H Yankee Peak driven. Uh, by um, Buddy Gilmore will be $406. I'll check the driver, but I don't have to check the announcer. It's Bob Meyer, and here is the call. Bob? Zero of Killbuck Count tries for the lead. Rickless in between horses second. Duenna towards the outside third. Killbuck Sur along the rail fourth. Cape Canaveral fifth. Yankee Peak the outside sixth. Around the turn, moving towards the backstretch. Killbuck Sur is off stride. Killbuck counted front by a length. Rickless second. Gap of three and a half lengths, Duenna third. About five lengths back to Cape Canaveral on the rail fourth. The Yankee peak the outside fifth. Cape Canaveral goes off stride. Approaching the quarter pole, Rickless up on the outside to get the lead by a length and a half. Killbuck count back to second. Gap of two lengths, Duenna third. Quarter time is 30 and two. Paddock turn the first time. Rickless in front by a length and a half. Killbuck count second. Gap of two lengths, Duenna third. Four lengths back to Yankee peak fourth. Cape Canaveral fifth. And length and a half back to Killbuck Sir, trotting and treading the field sixth. As they come by the stands the first time, Rickless sat on top by a length and a quarter. Killbuck count second. Duenna third. Gap of two lengths. Yankee Peak fourth. Cape Canaveral fifth. Killbuck Sir goes off stride again. Halftime is 102 and three. Around the clubhouse turn the second time. Rickless maintaining a length advantage. Killbuck count second. Duenna third. Yankee Peak fourth. Cape Canaveral fifth. Far back to Killbuck Sir, trotting the field sixth. Around the turn down the backstretch. Rickless still has the best of it by length. Killbuck count on the rail second. Duenna begins to move on the outside third. Gap of two lengths. Yankee peak four. Two lengths back to Cape Canaveral fifth. Approaching the three-quarter pole. Rickless in front by length. Duenna up on the rim second. Killbuck count along the rail third. Three quarters. One, thirty-three and four. Around the far turn. Rickless in front by three points of a length. Duenna alongside second to challenge. Killbuck count on the rail third. Gap two lengths. Yankee peak four. Two and a half lengths back to Cape Canaveral fifth. They come to the top of the stretch. Rickless on the inside still leads but three points of a length. Duenna on the outside second. Killbuck count on the rail third. Through the stretch. Rickless in front by length. Duenna on the outside second. With Killbuck count third. Rickless and Duenna. Rickless in front. Here's the finish. 5E Rickless, the winner by about three parts of a length. 6F Duenna finishing second. And 4D Killbuck count was third. Let's go back to the press box and Spencer Ross. A tiny colt, Rickless, did win $122,000 last year, owned by the same gentleman who owned Green Speed, Billy Houghton's last Yonkers Trot winner. Well, after winning a couple of races against older horses here, Billy Houghton made a phone call to Florida to Mr. Lloyds, and Lloyd Lloyds put up the $25,000 to supplement this three-year-old. And the money well invested because the share in winning tonight's second division worth more than $45,000. It was all Rickless all the way, and he did it with very easy fractions. They come to the three quarters right here. Rickless in 133 and four with Duena, Stanley Dancer's horse. Not his best horse. Dancer's crown, not ready yet, and Stanley Dancer did not have him entered this evening. But coming into the stretch, Billy Houghton opens it up just a little bit with a final quarter in 29 seconds. Duena closing on the outside, 202 and 4. Not that quick a mile. A reminder of the New York Cosmos can be seen in this entirety following Racing from Yonkers at 11.30 this evening. Could make him a favorite for tonight's finals. We'll see. The results of the second race are official with 5E Rickless, owned by L.S. Lloyds of Palm Beach, Florida, trained by Apple Thomas, Billy Houghton in the bike, returns 260, 210, and 220. 6F Duena was second, 210 and 220, and 4D Killbuck Count finished third, and even $3. The Quinella of 5 and 6, or 6 and 5, E and F for F and E, returns $3.20. And tonight's early daily double here at Yonkers Raceway, a combination of 1C, Sherwood Lobel, and 5E Rickless returns $14.20. 60 cents. More 